Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's another Monday. You know I've got some packages, so let's do us some mail call. All right, this is going to be just a fantastic mail call. Um, I am excited to open these up. Um, I'm going to, we got ourselves uh, some slabs and we got ourselves some raw books. So let's start with the raws because that's how we usually do it. I'm going to move this slabs out of the way. And um, <clears throat> so these are some books that I picked up from uh, my man, uh, Silver Age Collectibles. Uh, I'm always checking him out and stuff and uh, happy to do business with him. A great guy um, doing some consignment stuff as well as some stuff that he picks up and, uh, you know, it's good. So overall, generally some good prices. So let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a slab in here too. <laughs> I forgot. It's been sitting here. This has been sitting here a while. Um <clears throat> because I've been just, I was on a spree this summer picking things up and uh, just getting around to things. I forget what's in what. Um, so now that I have that, I can do this. Let's do this. All right. Woo. Let's get started here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, let's see here. We have uh, fantastic four issue 66. I want to say that there's something about this book, and I, there's some reason I picked it up. I'm not entirely sure. It's a low-grade book. Uh, it's definitely got some stuff. I, I'm not really collecting old Fantastic Four, so this must have been something I picked up for the giveaway bin, because I like to seed uh, books in the giveaway bin. Uh, so we got The Untold Legend of the Batman. Now, this book, I know exactly why I picked this up. Uh, it was an inexpensive book, but it was like it tipped me over a price point that allowed me to get free shipping on everything that I had sitting there. So uh, the cost of that book was less than the cost of shipping. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. So this stuff is for the for like the giveaway bin uh, Secret Wars issue six. I already have a full set, so I'll compare these against what I have. Um, and if I if I have gets an upgrade, I'll take it. Otherwise, these go to the giveaway bin. Marvel Secret Wars issue two. Okay, this one's uh, for my for me. Uh, this is Marvel Premiere, Fury Tree Man Wolf issue forty five. This is this is more stuff that's for me. I was I've been in a little Bronze Age horror rock pit thing lately. So, uh, do you enter the House of Mystery? So she's turning, or she's yeah, she's turning into an eagle to attack the guy. Ah, this book I couldn't believe it was sitting there. I was able to pick this up. A couple little minor spine ticks. So it's probably like a nine two. Um, but the Amazing Spider-Man 346 in a newsstand. It's a great book. Great freaky freaky book. Oh, this is, I love that I have this book. Uh, these are like notoriously hard to get a 9.8. I get 9.6s all the time on them. Uh, but this is just a wonderful book. I love this probably one of the greatest Greg Horn covers ever. Uh, believe it or not, I'm probably going to put this in the giveaway bin, uh, but it's Star Wars issue number one, Greg Horn variant. This was a GameStop exclusive variant, and they did three different covers, one for Star Wars, one for uh, Princess Leia, and one for Darth Vader that were all these propaganda art style po uh, covers. Absolutely phenomenal this is an exciting book. I'm surprised uh, that they're available as affordable as they are. Um, oh yeah. Here you go. Uh, Doom Patrol, issue number one.
And then these are some books for my PC that I need to fill my run. Uh, so Batman 360. Uh, I actually had picked this up recently. Uh, I know this is a duplicate, but this is a much higher grade copy than the copy that I had picked up. Um, and then here we got uh, 367. A slight case of poison ivy. <laughs> Uh, issue 318. Interestingly enough, another copy of 367. <laughs> and, uh, Batman issue 210. Legion of Feline Furries. Kinky. So, yeah, I mean, with that, I'm actually getting really close to closing out the 300s on my Batman run, um, which means I'll continue to work in probably, for, I think I'm going to go down to 250. And from 250 on uh, that, because I already have everything, most of the 300s at this point, only a handful left. I think 250 is about the bottom point where I'm going to worry about getting the continuous run. After that, I have some issues below two, 250, and I'll, prob and I'll probably pick up a few more. But I don't think I'm going to be worried about going down and getting all of them uh, at that point. All right, last book in this box from uh, Silver Age uh, Collectibles. This is uh, Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44. It is the first appearance of Dick Grayson as Nightwing. So this is where he becomes, he takes on the Nightwing persona. We pick it up at a 9.4. Super affordable book, but a key worth having. So there you go. That's the that's just the pickups from Silver Age Collectibles. Not bad, if I don't say so myself. Um, now, this is where we get. This is the point in time. If you guys have been watching Monday Mail Call, where we hit the bangers. So loosen your belt. Um, whatever else, let's get into it. Uh, this book here. This was. Oh, okay. So this was off of an Instagram seller. I don't remember the Instagram name, but it's one of one of those sites that's uh, always doing consignee stuff um, and listing, showing pictures of their books. Um, so, anyways, I hadn't done a business. This is the first time I transacted business with them. Uh, books well packaged, lots of bubble wrap. Um, and it was a good price on the book. I felt actually, I actually remember looking this book up because I thought that it was a really good price. And I looked it online and it was definitely below what the recent sales were. And so I jumped on it because I had recently added Fantastic 44, I'm sorry, Fantastic Four issues 48 and 49 to my repertoire. So it only made sense then that I also add issue 50 there. So we get that Silver Surfer uh, Battles, Silver Surfer Battles Galactus. And of course, Johnny Storm goes off to college. It's his first day of college. Good for Johnny. He's going to better himself. He's going to get a degree or he'll blow up the university. One or the other. Let's find out. <laughs> We already know the answer. Anyways, so this is just a fabulous Silver Surfer cover. I know some people don't dig this cover as much as some others, but I really kind of dig this cover. This is great. Happy to have it, add it to the collection and uh, have that 48, 49, 50 uh, setup complete. Now, like I said, some people don't like that cover as much. They much prefer a different Silver Surfer cover. And this one, this one is probably the one that people think about um all right so this one i would have pick, i picked up from my comic shop based on what i see here in the packaging yep my comic shop all right uh doo -doo -doo. i need a knife I need a knife and all right, so I hope you're guessing as to what you think it is that's inside there. I'm not editing this out. It's not that hard to get to this book. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, baby. Yeah, you know what I like, don't you? All right. So, here it is. If you don't like this cover, chances are this is the cover you like. Look at that. Silver Surfer number one. The origin of Silver Surfer. Big premiere issue. Sentinel of the Spaceways. So there you are. We're, we're surfing hardcore today, guys. What Which cover do you like better? This is the question. Not necessarily which book would you rather have. I think a lot of people would rather have Silver Surfer 1. I don't know why. But, I mean, what cover do you like better? That's a good question. Was there a different book you like better? Did you prefer the first Nightwing? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. But don't run off yet, guys. I need you to hit that thumbs up button because it helps get this in front of more people uh, and that generates more ad revenue. And this channel donates all proceeds, including that ad revenue, to Comics Curing Cancer, uh, which is a, an official event of the American Cancer Society. So unless you like cancer, please hit the thumbs up button. All right, guys. So comment down below. Hit that like. Hey, are you a subscriber? Maybe you should subscribe to the channel. You can see more content like this. Uh, until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.